One in five. One in five of every school in child in America is obese. This is a huge problem because obesity causes a lot of problems for the kid all throughout their life. An example of one is bullying. Bullies see obese or even overweight children as an easy target, so they bully them. A lot of people don't know this, but obese children don't perform as well academically as non obese children. And the social discrimination they face all throughout their life hinders their academic ability as well. Obese people are prone to a slew of illnesses all throughout their life. The most common are sleep apnea, cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes. These, these diseases are very deadly. The most common and most deadly of these is cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease can cause cardiac arrest, also known as heart attacks. Another very common disease is type 2 diabetes. I'm sure a lot of you people in the audience have experience with a family member or even you having it. Type 2 diabetes is when your body doesn't produce insulin properly. Insulin is a hormone that regulates your blood sugar levels. So I'm sure you know that it's a problem if they aren't regulated. So I was never an obese kid, but I was definitely overweight. In fact, in eighth grade, I couldn't run a mile without walking. I remember back when I ran the mile. During when I was running, I would experience so much pain, and there was the overwhelming urge to stop. After I ran the mile. My feet would hurt for the rest of the day, and I could barely stand up. Towards the middle of eighth grade, I joined the rest of the team, and this helped me get fit. But the big change in my life didn't come till the summer of 2018, where I joined my school cross country team. I joined cross country with a 740 mile, and the most I could run without walking was about two miles. At the end of the season, my mile was down to 6.35, and I pulled out nine miles without walking. Throughout winter track season, I got faster, and right now I'm on spring track. Very recently, I've gotten my mile down to the high fives. That may not be very fast for some of you that have been doing it for a very long time, or since sixth grade per se, but for someone who is just some unathletic kid, Nine months ago, I'm very proud of the change I made. Now, a lot of you may be thinking, I'm not obese, so I don't have to worry about any of the aforementioned problems happening to me. But the truth is, the more fit you are, the less of a chance you have of having any of the aforementioned diseases. That's why it's so important to get fit. Who here knows? The pain you feel when you're doing any sport or physical activity, the feeling that you can't go another step, the feeling that you want to quit, the feeling of your muscles aching. Who knows that feeling? A lot of you. That is because whenever you do any physical activity, you are bound to feel pain. I still remember my first cross country practice. We had to do a tough core workout and a 5K. At the end of it, I was ready to quit the team altogether. I was in so much pain and I was ready to throw up. Just three days later, our coach asked us to run nine miles. That was crazy to me. And when I did the nine mile, I had to take so many walking breaks. But after months of hard work and dedication, I was able to do the whole thing without walking once. It's a shame to think that so many lives across the world could have been saved if we were just active and health conscious as children. 
I came upon this realization when my track and field coach introduced me to an organization called the HKRS, which stands for Healthy Kids Running Schools. The goal of HKRS is to get kids active at a young age. Getting active at a young age has a lot of benefits. As I said before, it lessens the chance of you getting the aforementioned diseases. It makes you look better to other people in general. And a lot of people don't know this, but it allows you to perform better academically. Researchers from Saginaw Valley State University in Michigan did a test on over 260 undergraduates. They tracked their grades and their physical activity. And they came, they came to the conclusion that students who engaged in rigorous physical activity had higher GPAs. HKRS allows kids for the rest of their lives to perform better. And it is clear that a lot of people are seeing how great the message is. Because ever since they were founded in 2009, more and more people have been signing up every year. Last year, in 2018, they had over 45,000 participants. This year, in 2019, they are estimated to get over 62,000. Next year, in 2020, they're estimated to get over 80,000. This is definitely great because their extremely good message is spreading nationally. My experience volunteering at HKRS has been great. It's such a horrible experience seeing so many young kids get enthusiastic about running. When I'm with them, I get to see the smile on their faces when they're with their friends and they always have these little competitions to see who will get the best time. And when they're running, I see them pushing their hardest while everyone spectating or volunteering there is cheering them on. It is definitely a great experience and a very useful thing seeing kids get enthusiastic about running. My favorite thing to do there while volunteering is stretching and running the half with the second and third graders. They're old enough to understand the importance of running, but they're still young enough to not be awkward and cocky. In general, HKRS is an amazing organization, and for all age groups, it promotes being active and healthy as children. In conclusion, child obesity is a huge problem. We spend so much of our day sitting in a classroom, sitting on our desk studying, or sitting on our couch watching YouTube or TV. We forget to go out and experience the real world. We're so caught up in our day-to-day -day lives, we forget to take care of our body and exercise. Today, I'm here to spread a very important message. If we influence the next generation to be active, and health conscious at a young age, we can eliminate so many of the problems we have today. We can get a generation that is smarter, a generation that is more self-confident, and a generation that lives longer. The former United States Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Vilsack, stated, the rise of childhood obesity has put the health of an entire generation at risk. Your health is in your hands.